Naturally Quen presents Questions and Answers. Hey guys. All right. So it's time for my questions and answers of the week. Let's get started. So the first question I have is from Jatam97 and it says, Hey Quinn, my question is whether protective styles like crochet braids and braids actually hinder length retention. All of the natural hair YouTubers seem to have grown their hair long by keeping it out naturally. And sometimes they say their weaves cause breakage. Do you think it's possible to grow your hair with just protective styles? Thanks. So I actually talked about this in my length retention video and um, yes, definitely those types of protective styles can hinder your length retention. These types of styles mainly become an issue when it comes to improper installations and improper care. So you wanna be very careful with who you choose to install your braids or weave or whatever you choose to install. If someone is installing your protective style and they're pulling too hard or they're doing it too tight, you definitely need to let them know. And some braiders just are not capable of of doing a loose braid so you want to be careful of that the other thing is is not leaving your weaves your braids or anything like that in your hair for longer than like three weeks and I would say probably even less than that but with three weeks you should be good keeping my hair free the majority of the time for sure has aided in my length retention because there's no manipulation I'm not pulling on it I'm not you know, doing anything crazy to it. I'm, it's just growing. It's just free to grow. So keep that in mind. If you want more information about how I retain my length, check out my length retention video. Thanks for your question. The next question is from Soso Kadeem and it says, Hey, I'm natural for a year and a half and where I live it's very difficult to get a lot of natural hair products. Actually, the only one I can get is Tresemme Natural Conditioner and it's very expensive to order from Amazon. I ordered Giovanni Deeper Moisture and it cost me like $100 to ship to my country. So I desperately need something to moisturize my hair. Thank you very much. So this is a really good question you guys because I know a lot of you don't live in America and you probably are having the same problems. Don't get caught up on products. A lot of naturals get caught up on products, especially when you're newly natural, but that is not the most important thing. The most important thing is how you're caring for your hair. As far as products go, I would strongly suggest using what you have access to. If you have access to conditioner, then use that. If you have access to a leave-in conditioner, use that. I don't know what brands you have in your country, but basically you have to do the best with what you have and that's it. And I'm sure your hair is going to be just fine with using those things. The other thing is, is when it comes to moisture and hydration, water is the biggest hydrator. So drinking more water and spritzing your hair with water will definitely add to your hair just naturally being hydrated. And if you want to lock in that moisture, you can seal it in with a coconut oil or an olive oil or something like that. Um, I suggest trying like the lock method, which I have a video on that. I'll post the link to that below and how I do it. And um, yeah, but don't get caught up on products, you guys. It's not that serious. Well, just do your best with what you have. That's a great question. Thank you. The next question is from... Gamern. I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I didn't. Do you whiten your teeth? Do you use glutathione soap morning and night? And I'm assuming you're asking me for my skincare routine video. So as far as whitening my teeth, I have whitened my teeth in the past, but that was like nine years ago. So currently, no, I'm not doing anything to whiten my teeth. And yes, I use the glutathione soap morning and night. And as far as my skincare routine video goes, I know there are so many of you out there that are asking for this and you want to see my skincare routine and I am going to deliver it, I promise. Um, what's holding me up actually is the fact that I bought a product that I decided to try out on my face and it broke me out really, really bad. So I'm actually in recovery mode, but don't worry, I'm going to show you guys how I clear up my breakouts as well. So that's actually what's taking so long. I'm in the process of recording that video right now. So when that's done, I will show you guys. So be patient, please. My skincare routine is coming. I appreciate all of your kind words of letting me know how beautiful my skin is. Thank you. A lot of what you guys see is makeup. I'm not saying I have bad skin. I do have nice skin, except for right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks for your question. And the last question is from Tamika Rhodes. And it says, how do you keep your skin so clear, which I just answered, and how much water do you drink daily? Um, as far as how much water I drink, I try to drink as much water as possible. I feel like it's usually give or take about three liters of water. 
Um, I don't really drink anything else. I try to stay away from juice and soda. Every once in a blue moon I might have one if that's all I have access to, but it's very rare that I drink a sugary drink. And I drink a lot of seltzer water. It's like my favorite. I'm kind of addicted to seltzer. And for those of you that are like soda drinkers, but you want to transition over to water, seltzer is probably a good way to start to get used to that taste of like nothingness that water has to offer. <laughs> so yeah, that answers that. And one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was about my last question and answer video where I mentioned that I use glutathione. So I said something to the effect of, you know, don't be afraid when you see whitening because it's not going to make your skin white. Um, and Trini Girl Natural actually brought it to my attention that that could be misleading and I agree with her. So I just wanted to clarify a couple things. The soap that I use, it's true. It's not a bleaching agent. It is just a skin brightener, but I was not saying that every single thing that says whitening does not whiten your skin. That's not true because some of the things that say whitening do actually bleach your skin. And you definitely want to be careful with any type of skin bleaching agent because it can really cause serious health issues. I just wanted to clear that up for anyone else that has confusion about that. So that's it for this week's questions and answers. If you have more questions, leave them in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Click here to see my wig application and question and answer videos. Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. You can also follow me at Blogspot, Instagram, Tumblr, and Facebook.